Hi guys, welcome back to another pen talk. And today I am going to review this, the Flare Ink P Metal GP Fountain Pen. It's a liquid ink fountain pen, and it arrives in this sort of packaging. Here it says Flare Ink P Metal GP Liquid Fountain Pen. It also says extra three number ink cartridges and one number convert. So yeah. The box is made up of cardboard, but yeah, it's well made for its price. So this pen costs one twenty-five rupees. So here are some instructions how to put a cartridge, but they haven't given instructions to use a converter, but that's just fine. Here it says unique liquid ink system, metal cap with gold-plated parts, stainless steel nib with iridium tip, extra large jumbo ink cartridge for longer writing length with thirty-five. Person mooring. So yeah, here are some addresses of their head offices and customer care service. So yeah, this is how the packaging looks. So now let's unbox it. So there is a plastic tray inside the, the this cardboard box. So yeah, here are the three flare extra long ink cartridges. Here's the converter and here's the pen itself. So yeah, let's remove the pen. As they mentioned, cap is made up of metal. The clip is metal too. Normal standard flare section, stainless steel nib. It's the same design as the Pilot Varsity and Pilot Petit One. There is a metal ring over here. I mean, it's not metal; it's plastic, but it looks like metal. Yeah, it is metal. So yeah, you can even remove the ring, and yeah, you can even use it without the ring. Not an issue. Works. Surely you can do this if you do not like the ring. But yeah, the ring looks good, and I don't have any problem with that. So let's put the ring back again. So yeah, the barrel is made up of plastic, injection molded. There is a small injection molding mark over here, as you can see. And yeah, it has the flare logo over here. It says flare. Over here, there is no branding of this particular model, but that's fine. And yeah, the clip somewhat looks spring-loaded. It has good amount of spring to it, but it's a little bit loose. But that's fine because I don't tend to use my clips all the time. There are some scratches as I had already used this pen for almost two months. For almost two months. So yeah, there are some scratches, but. That doesn't matter a lot. Glossy black finial, bottom just injection molding mark. There is cap uh, inner cap lining, but there is no slip and seal mechanism. But that's fine. It seals the nib pretty well. It posts well, not deeply, but yeah, securely. It doesn't fall. So that's great. The people who like posting their caps can surely do this, but I am not a huge fan of doing this. So that's fine. So yeah. So it comes with this Lamy style converter. The Lamy Z26 or Z24 converter is of the same type, but yeah, it surely isn't like the Lamy converter. It just looks, but it is not the Lamy converter. It doesn't has the Lamy branding, and Flare doesn't try to copy them. Yeah, it has the Flare branding over here. It says Flare Ink P converter. The opening or the mouth of the converter is same as the Lamy, 
and the Parker pen so you can surely put a Parker cartridge or a Lamy cartridge in here or you can even put a Lamy or Parker converter as you can see the mouths are pretty much the same so you can surely put a Lamy converter uh, and cartridges or even Parker converter and cartridges you can surely do that so yeah it is a pretty decent screw in converter it's very easy to disassemble the converter and clean it and as I said it comes with three cartridges so here are the cartridges it's made up of hard plastic so it won't crack like the standard international short or long cartridges it has the flaring p extra large jumbo cartridge branding over here and yeah that is it and you can even put a flaring p extra large cartridge this is the extra large cartridge and this is the extra large jumbo so yeah there is difference in size and yeah the extra large jumbo cartridge holds more ring than the extra large cartridge but sure you can put this cartridge or this cartridge both are the same and both are manufactured by flare itself so yeah that is it so it comes with three cartridges so as soon as the pen arrives or you uh, get it you can directly start writing so that's a good option so yeah now let's keep the packaging aside I am going to use the converter not the cartridges so now let's ink this pen up I'll put the converter inside the pen pen section now let's ink it up so today I am planning to ink it up with Brill Green so unscrew it screw in the piston dip the pen into the ink bottle and draw off the piston and pull the piston upwards so yeah you have to do this repeated times if you want to fill up the whole converter with ink so I think as per me three to four times is enough to fill the whole converter so this is the third time and it's pretty much full but yeah if you don't fill it full it's fine because the section holds a lot of ink and as this being a medium nib but it tends to be a fine nib so it doesn't consume a lot of ink so that's fine I'll wipe the section and the nib with a cloth or even you can use a tissue paper so yeah I'll keep the ink bottle aside screw in the barrel back and yeah it is already writing as we drew up the ink through the nib and the feed so you don't need to uh, keep it upside down or so so yeah now let's move on to the writing samples and after the writing samples I'll tell you the things which I like about it and the things which I don't like about it so I am going to do the writing samples in this classmate spiral notebook so the pen here is flare metal gp the ink here is brill green so yeah now let's check out normal writing So 
so yeah it is all good no issues till now now let's check out fast writing so so yeah the nib and the feed keeps up pretty well with fast writing also now let's check out reverse writing so you can sure read or reverse writing no issues with that so now let's check the wetness of the nib so yeah it is pretty much all right no issues with that now let's check out for flakes So yeah there is no amount of flex to it or line variation the nib is pretty much stiff there is no line variation but that's fine So yeah now let's check out some strokes So yeah there is great no issues with the writing or anything of such sorts So now let's move on to the things which I like about it and the things which I don't like about it. So let's keep this book aside and now let's talk about the pen. So yeah, the pen comes with a pretty standard flare nib. The breather hole isn't punched. But that's fine. Now let's talk about the things I like about it and the things I don't like about it. So the things I don't like about it they could have tried to remove this indentation or make it pretty much flat i mean like the step down could be reduced that would have looked a bit more premium but that's fine and yeah they could have given an opaque section or a bit contoured section but that's fine now let's talk about the things i like about it the pen cap is well made the pen too it works it is and it writes well no issues with the writing it has a bit of feedback but that's not an huge issue and for its price it is value for money and i am really happy with this pen so if you like my review Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel. Thank